Now we're talking about unit prices. So the question is, what do we do with three kilograms of dog food that we know costs $20.12? And then the question is, what is the unit price? So we have three units. So all we're going to do is divide three into the 2012. Now, I don't really uh, concentrate on decimals until the very end because then you can just put it back up there. It gets kind of confusing when you do your division. But the question is, how much money per kilo? So we have three kilograms. So we just divide that three into the total cost of $20.12 and we will get our price per kilo. So three goes into 20, how many times? Six times, six, 12, 18. If you don't know how to do long division, I'm multiplying the six times the three to put it under the 20. 20 minus 18 is two. You always bring down the next number of one. Three goes into 21 seven times. Seven times three is 21. Then you subtract zero, zero. Then you bring down the last number of two. 3 goes into 2 zero times, bring back up that decimal, and you have $6.70 per kilo. And that's all they're really asking. So unit price is basically saying you have a big amount that you spent for pounds or kilos of something, and they want to know how much per pound or kilo did you pay for it. So that's just when you do your division. And if you have a calculator, you're fine. But if you don't, then you gotta learn long division. So if you don't know long division, you should rewind this and watch me do this a couple times because you're gonna have to memorize it. Sometimes you don't, don't have a calculator or some teachers don't let them use calculators. I don't know why, but it's good to know that anyways. So unit price, how much per unit?